Welcome back friends on my YouTube channel Ibrahim Makena Ibrahim that's my name and in this video we shall talk about the 10 body language the 10 body language things that can show confidence you can call them the 10 confidence body confidence body language or confident body language so we shall talk about the 10 things that you can do like on your body and they can show that you have confidence or they can increase your confidence if you don't have it they can boost it they can at least increase something like <clears throat> like when like when you are you're feeling low you're feeling low power and you practice those body languages they can help you to improve your moods and you become more confident so let us start right away in the video and the first the first confident body language is standing upright. When you stand upright, it helps you to feel more confident and it shows confidence to other people. It shows that you can accomplish more things. It shows that you can do more things. So when you are like this, sometimes try out to stand up straight. Try, try to stand up straight, like pull your shoulders up like this. Like that, try to be straight when you're standing. So stand up straight. It will help you to boost your confidence. It will boost your confidence. It will improve your confidence. And you'll feel also well. It will boost those hormones in your brain which make, which make you happy and which make you more confident. So when you, you want to feel more confident, please, when you are not standing straight, try out just to stand straight. Put that in your mind that you should always stand straight. When you're feeling down, you will like this. Try out always a bit straight to improve your confidence. And the skin, and the skin, the confident body language is making eye contact. Some people, when they see someone and the other person sees them in the eyes, they break the eye contact, they break it, and that shows low confidence. But if you wanna show confidence, when someone makes an eye contact, you don't look this. You just make that icon the black person you see him in the eyes for example like for example like when you're talking with someone don't just sit down or sit another down try to make that eye contact with that person try to see in the eyes of that person try to see in his or her eyes try to maintain that eye contact it will help you to show more confident and you as a person you will also feel the confidence you as a person, you also feel it. Say, hey, when I'm doing this thing, when I'm, I'm making this eye contact, I'm showing that I'm confident, and that also will improve your confidence. So let us go on the third body language, which is, <coughs> let's see here, the third body language is keep your chin up. What do I mean by keeping your chin up? Don't keep your chin down. This is the chin. So try always to keep it up like this. Don't keep it down, keep it up. Always keep your chin up when you're walking, when you are sitting. When you keep it down, it shows anxiety. So try always to keep that chin up. Let us go on the fourth confident body language, which is slow your movements. For example, when something happens, or when you're going to do something, or when someone you like comes, slow your movements. Don't run. Not, not running, but don't be more fast, like being fast movements. Try to slow movements. When you're doing something, do it. Don't, don't slow your movements. Do it slowly. Don't run. Pop. It's not good. So, slow movements. That was the fifth. <clears throat> and the sixth is take large steps. When you're walking with someone and the other person is walking slow, try to walk large steps it will show confidence try to walk large steps and the seventh is this is one of the most important and that is speak slowly and clearly this is one of the most important because in our daily lives we speak we speak with different people we meet a lot of people and first of the things we show which like helps us to know that this person is confident or is not confident is how we speak so when you speak with you speak 
like when you speak speak slowly and clearly to speak of this let us go on the eighth the eighth is avoid your pockets don't always put your arms in your pockets don't see me and my hands here but don't always put your <coughs> exit don't always put your hands in your pocket when you're moving try to be free with the hands try to be free be a free person be free with, the, with your hands and the name is give a firm handshake when you won't speak with someone try to give a strong arm shake make strong don't make arm shakes which are not strong so try to make it strong firm and that will also show confidence and i think they have finished all the confident body language body languages i've finished all of them and please it's good when you write them down when you write one by one down it will help you so much i make this video but there are some people there who are shouting so if you have got something from this video please subscribe on the youtube channel give it a like and please i will see you in the next video please subscribe to my channel like i'm on a challenge of 30 days to improve my confidence like i want to make two videos every single day for 30 days without missing any single day so it means in 30 days i must be with 60 videos and this is the first video so i'm remaining with other 60 videos so i may make five videos today any which i want but my goal is to make videos by the end of the month so see you in the next video bye